guys welcome back to no catch your name it's me ella today is friday the 24th i think of march <laughs> uh i haven't made a video in like a week or so i can't remember maybe less than that i don't know but anyways i'm on here now so that's all that matters <laughs> just been busy life is just crazy it's crazy crazy life everybody has crazy lives i'm sure but anyways i want to hop on here and show you um things i've been crocheting on things i'm gonna be starting on crocheting on or okay things i finished things i am working on there you go that's better uh, and some happy mail that I got, and one of them, a couple of things that I've purchased, just, just a chatty video, if you're not interested in, um, a longer, <laughs> chattier video with baby noises, this probably isn't the video for you, but I'm going to, um, try to record with her in here, and, uh, maybe it won't be too crazy. You gonna be Bit. all right so first we'll do the crochet stuff so last time i showed anything to you i was working on the little bunnies i believe i had this pink one done <laughs> and it is done crocheting i just haven't uh done the face yet i got to stitch on the face to this one and another one because it's for the babies um for easter so this pattern is called uh funny bunny by carrie reynolds it is a free uh what are they called pdf download on ravelry and she has like 40 different little <laughs> round bodied animals and uh they're all free so I'll go check them out you want to see the bunny that's gonna be yours anyways so I did finish the bunnies that one is red heart pink a lot pink color I can't remember the names these are all scrap balls this one is um I, f I feel like this is red heart minty but I can't remember if that's what it's called this is the other one for the baby the other baby so, I, all their ears are kind of slightly different. So, I do have to stitch on the face. This is a blue color. Can you see the blue? And these two are for the older kids, Jesse and my nephew. <laughs> so, they have safety eyes on them. This one, this might be monkey. No, this is like, I think this is like light sage green. So, here's one with the face. He's got little blue eyes. I feel like they're two different sizes. As I look at them, I'm like, are they two different size eyes? I can't tell. But if they are, that's okay. It just makes him unique. So this would be for either Jesse or my nephew, whichever, whoever wants the green one. And then I made a yellow one. And he's slightly smaller, but like I said, you know, tension and stuff and plus yarns sometimes are different um, weights. Technically, you know, they, they'll say worsted, but one's a little bit thinner. Like I know Red Heart's usually fatter, <laughs> thicker than Olive Yarn. But these are both, I think, Red Hearts. But they're cute. And I believe I used an elf hook for these, which is a 3.25. 3.75? 3.75 millimeter. Uh, the pattern calls for you to use it like a two point something. She's throwing all her toys. <laughs> but I think they're cute. This one has yellow eyes. And there goes that ball rolling across the floor. <laughs> but these are what my finished objects are. The little tails and the arms and legs are all stitches that are crocheted as you work. The only thing you have to sew on are the ears. So I love that little pattern. It's a cute pattern. You want a snack? Are you hungry? Okay, she's eating some chocolate chips. She's, I'm just going to leave her off camera for now. She's eating. <laughs> uh, the next thing, I pulled out some yarn out of my, where is it? My pink cubby. Do you see my little, I don't know if you can tell, but those are little peeps. Little peep lights. I got them at the Dollar Tree in the, what's it called? It's the aisle that has a little bit more expensive stuff. They were like $5, I think. What's it called? It's got a name. Oh, well, doesn't matter. <laughs> They're cute. I got two boxes. Another box is right here. I just haven't opened it yet. Anyways, the other thing I'm crocheting on actively. Well, I just started it. <laughs> it's called the Little C Silly Hand Puppets. And it's by Jenny Designs. It's free on their website. I'll link it below. Uh, so it's a hand puppet. And uh, it's just like a monster, I guess. Hand puppet. But I'm going to make mine into a dog. So I pulled this yarn down. I have two slightly used balls of this and one full ball up there somewhere it's like way up there uh this is just yarn premier just yarn uh worsted or Aaron. i'm not sure which one it is from the dollar tree i got it forever ago i think it's called dusty rose i think it's the colorway um so it is pink color it doesn't really look pink with the lighting but it is pink color so i was wanting to make a dog with like big floppy ears is my plan puppet for june because she seems she likes i use like the oven mitts sometimes as puppets and um so i wanted to make a puppet puppet so this is all i got so far i just barely started it i'm using an h hook which is five millimeter hook and this is i think worsted yarn i don't know but um i gotta do this 
part and then at a certain point you uh, leave an opening to where you add the part that the thumb goes in. I think it actually goes this way. Um, so I'm working on that. I like the pattern. It's, they just like put noses and stuff on it like to be like a monster or something. But I'm just going to make ears to make it a dog. Like with floppy ears is my plan. Was, did you already eat them? Did you already eat them? A couple more. Um, but yeah, so that's the only thing I'm actively working on. I do have some patterns I'm going to be working on soon. One, uh, two of them are Pokemon. <laughs> one for my brother. He asked me if I could make one for him, a certain one. And then one for the next community day. I'm going to be making the, a Pokemon for that. And then I also f uh, figured out what Halloween pattern I want to make for March. March is already almost over. But I'm going to make uh, Eyeball Amigurumi. So I only got to make three of them. So I'm hoping that it won't take me too long. But I already found the pattern. I did forget to write it down. But if I think about it, I will leave, leave it in the description if you want to check it out. Because so, every month this year up through October, I'm going to make three Halloween Amigurumis to hand out to the neighborhood kids here in our complex what is it called <laughs> our big apartment complex we live at a cul-de-sac that has apartment buildings and uh there's probably less than i would say less than 20 kids all together so far and out of all the buildings so um that'll be 30 emigrumies and last year i know some of the parents were getting emigrumies uh because i seen one carrying one so uh they'll get taken i'm not worried about that at all but yeah so that's the crochet portion of today i have to get those bundles where we're doing through but, uh, also, I wanted to show, I got some more stickers from my sister. You okay? She, uh, she's make, she's got a bunch more made and ready for an update in April. We're gonna, she's gonna do her update and I'm gonna do my back update around the same time. <laughs> but, um, so this is one of them that I, I commandeered. It says, Craftaholic, and it's uh, a holographic one. It's glittery. It's got different, you know, like scissors and glue and it's got a pencil and a crown or is it like a pencil and a paintbrush just cute little crafty one and then this one i got because I, like, I think it's pretty it's got a crochet hook through it and then she's also uh, a few designs or are, are about um reading someone mentioned reading so this one is emotionally attached to fictional characters <laughs> because i am emotionally attached to a bunch of fictional characters um so I thought that was cute. So these are the ones that I stole from her. <laughs> but, um, and she's got more coming soon. I've already seen them. I already know what they are. But uh, definitely ch we'll, we'll talk about it, you know, before then. And you can check out her new designs then. But uh, there's going to be crochet ones, knit ones, craft ones, and book related ones. And probably more in the future. And she is working on safety eyes. Not safety eyes. Felt eyes. She sent me a picture today of a little container with a whole bunch of them in it. So she is slowly like building up a stock of them. And then well, she'll put them in the shop. Okay. Now I had to give me some water in this cute little Smurf cup. <laughs> but um, I guess I'll just do some purchases. This is just random purchases. It has nothing to do with anything. One is I am planning on doing a giveaway soon for spring. Because uh, spring is like one of my favorite time of year. Hold on, I'm spilling everything. Um, so I went to Dollar Tree because, you know, it's a good place to get little filling items for giveaway packages. Because for the spring giveaway, I'll probably put a bag in it. And some yarn, because I have a big bag of yarn in my closet that is yarn that I was gifted that isn't yarn that I prefer. So I've been, I use that for giveaways. But I also grabbed this cute little sticky note <laughs> thing. I don't know if it says magnetic. No, it doesn't say. But it says no bad days, and it's just a little notepad, because you never have too many notepads. And on that same thing, I got this notepad. <laughs> this is a bigger notepad, and it's uh, lined. But I just wanted to say that this... You know, it's a dollar and a quarter, but it rang up as a penny. <laughs> and they let me go ahead and get it because I already had it and I only had one, you know. But uh, if you have a Dollar Tree and you see notebooks that are similar to this, grab them. Because if they ring up as a penny, maybe they'll let you keep them. Usually when stores, I know Dollar Tree does it and Dollar General does it. If it rings up as a penny, it's items that are supposed to be pulled off the shelves. The managers and stuff are supposed to take care of that. Uh, they're supposed to pull them off the shelf and I guess claim them. And they probably toss them, knowing, <laughs> knowing how stores are in the U.S. Um... Which I totally wouldn't do. If I was a manager of a store, I would throw them away. But I would put them in boxes nice and neatly by the dumpster. So the people who need them can get them. But I'd also probably lose my job for that. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is uh, check out your Dollar Tree. Because maybe um, you can grab up some that are only a penny. Um, and maybe if you have a decent <laughs> decent people working at your dollar, or dollar Tree, they'll let you go ahead and keep them. But uh, I just got it because I like the colors. I was trying to go for springy, pretty color things. 
I'm gonna make a bag that goes with it and I'm gonna try to find some yarn that you know just sprinkly colors <laughs> but um so those are gonna be in the giveaway feature with some other things probably some probably some stickers for my sister and just some other little whatever's I can find and then we went one day um we we're just out driving around we didn't have anything in particular to do so we went to um bargain hunt which is a it is a chain store so you might have one near you it's kind of a closeout store like all these in big lots where they sell stuff that other stores took off their shelves you know for like seasonal reasons they have a lot of food that i like going through because like they have a lot of mac and cheeses that are like they have velveta mac and cheese that's usually like five or six dollars a box for like two dollars so we always like snatch those up and they're in date they're just um like either the packaging has changed or if they're like halloween themed we got some pringles there that had halloween images on the can but they didn't even expire until this october 2023 so we went ahead and grabbed those because they were only a dollar a can and at walmart they're like two dollars and something so anyways if you have one definitely check it out they have clothes and toys and uh home goods all kind of stuff and they sometimes have yarn so a lot of their yarn is the ruffly yarn that people make scarves out of and the loopy yarn that people, people um finger knit with and stuff like that and so i didn't want any of that but i did find this one package of it that uh, I thought would be good for amigurumi skin colors, like um, Caucasian skin colors. And it's just, it doesn't say what it is, it just says 100% acrylic. But it's just like light peachy color. It's a lighter than me, but I think it'd be cute as amigurumi skin or uh, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> so I did grab this. So they are millions, so they're just random amounts. You know, like you see there's one right here in the middle that's kind of squished up. That's probably smaller than the rest of them. But uh, I think this would be great. I wish I had had more colors. I would totally uh, grab them because <laughs> uh, they're only four thirty, four dollars and thirty cents. Uh, that's a pretty good amount of yarn, I think, for that. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Yeah. So that's all the things I randomly purchased. <laughs> and then I did get some happy mail. So this first one is a card from my good friend Phyllis, and it's an Easter card. And I sent out some Easter cards to some people yesterday. <laughs> so some of y'all will be getting Easter cards. Uh, and it just says an Easter hello. And it's just pretty picture. It's got some glitter on it. I don't know if you can see that. It's a big old card. <laughs> so, got that from my friend Phyllis. And then this is some of the knitted dishcloths that I made a trade with someone. Uh, her name is Roseanne. And I got, I still got to make her bag, but I got the fabric for it. I just got to make it. So she made me some dishcloths and some face scrubs. So here we go. So here's one of the dishcloths. Very pretty. It's got a different texture on either side. And then this one. I like the texture on this one. It's very cool. <laughs> and then this one. These will all get used really good because I absolutely love knit dishcloths. They're my favorite. And then this pretty red one. And then she made this little uh, rectangle face one. And then she made a bunch of the little round ones. So here's two with that print. <laughs> two of this print. And then these three pink ones. So that's awesome. I'll definitely be using all these. <laughs> so I'm going to throw those in the wash and then put them where they go and start using them. I just wanted to show them to you guys. And that's got her address on it. I don't want to lose that. And then the next, this is a bunch of stuff. Uh, I don't know if I want to pull all these out and show them all because someone's getting a little grumpy over there. But these are 18 inch dog clothes that were gifted to me by Sharon. She messaged me, she emailed me and asked me if I had, would be interested in them because she sells them. And these were left over from a craft fair, I think. Mm -hmm. But they're just a bunch of really cute doll outfits and they all have pictures with them. So this first one is red and white, very pretty. See all the pieces in there? And that's the outfit. Try not to make too much noise while the plastic. Hold on, this one's picture is folded. Let me reach in there and straighten it up. Right, and there's this brown outfit. And there is this little outfit with a beret. So cute. I might take these out actually and show them to you one day, but I just can't today because it's grumpy and over there. <laughs> And then there's just pretty blue and greens. And it's this outfit. And there's just pretty purples. And then this cute little outfit. Look at that big old hat. If 
I can think about it. One day when I have some time, I'll actually pull out the doll. She's over there. And put all these outfits on her, outfits on her and take pictures. Girl, you make a mess. And this is one of my favorite ones. This outfit <laughs> is a Halloween like, witch outfit. It's tool. That is so cute. That's going to be so cute. And this last one is like a sewn outfit. She doesn't have shoes, but that's okay because I can get shoes. But this it's like a little it looks like it's um felt or something and that's the outfit that is so cute so yeah so those are all those little outfits that she sent she also along with that she sent a little bag with little 2023 charms if i can get one out okay here so they're just little 2023s um so that'll be good for ornaments and things that i make this year i can put those on but I think that's just about everything I wanted to share with you guys. <laughs> I am getting ready to start cutting some fabrics. Probably today I'll start it for uh, another bag update that's coming up. The beginning of April is when I'm going to do it. But she just threw all her toys off. She's covered in chocolate. Look at that face. Look, you see you? Say hi. I gotta go get her cleaned up and put all this stuff where it goes. And I will see you guys in another video. This one's going to take a while to edit because she's been hard. So I'm going to uh, try to edit it and get it up. Say she's grumpy. But anyways, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.